Hi, I am a certified healthcare professional. Before creating this video, I had seen many videos regarding today's topic. There is no debate on staying hydrated and other precautionary measures adoption, not only for kidneys but also for overall health. Proper to the point health advice from a healthcare professional is necessary when you feel any specific health complications. In this video, I am focusing on herbs for prevention and reversal of kidney health. But today I will talk about herbs that not only rejuvenate the kidneys but have the ability to reverse damage and clear the kidneys in case of inflammation, sludge, stones, and damage. As you all already know, kidneys play a vital role in filters, regulating waste, blood pressure, and hormone production. Many only realize their importance when kidney issues arise. Articles and videos provide us a lot of information regarding food and ordinary herbs that are effective but their main sphere of action is not related to kidneys. The purpose here is not a comparative study between them. But to give you all knowledge of these miraculous herbs, these herbs act directly on kidneys and help kidneys to recover from many illnesses that are directly related to kidneys or ailments that accompany kidney diseases. These ailments are, for example, increased uric acid and kidney affection, different types of stones, joint problems and kidney affections and many more. In our list, the first herb is Barbary. The botanical name of this herb is Berberus vulgaris. The bark of this herb from inside is yellow. The bark is the part that is used for kidney problems. A very good herb that acts in kidney pain, pain that radiates from kidneys, compromised function of kidneys, urinary tract infections, different types of kidney stones, gout and kidney complaints, suppressed urine, hepatic problems and gallstones. Second, in the list is wild licorice or sarsaparilla. It is odorless or slightly bitter in taste. The rhizome and root of this herb are used as a medicine for kidney and ureter problems. A very good herb for kidney colic, stones that are stuck in ureters, well-marked urinary symptoms, kidney diseases with skin problems, periosteal pains due to venereal disease, boils and eczema. Third in the list is meadow saffron. The botanical name of this herb is Colchicum autumnale. Corn of the herb is used as a medicine for kidney complaints that accompany uric acid, gouty problems, kidney and joint problems, and uric acid stones. Kidney complaints with excessive use of carbohydrates. Next in the list is Indian borage. The botanical name of this herb is Coleus aromaticus. Leaves of this plant are used. You can chew these leaves daily when your kidneys have distressed stones, gonorrhea and urinary troubles. Next in the list is gravel laurel. The botanical name of this herb is Epigea repens, a whole plant is used. Kidney stones, chronic cystitis, tenesmus after micturition, uric acid deposits, gravel, calculi, fine sand in the urine of a brown color and burning in the neck of the bladder. Next in the list is Seven Barks. The botanical name of this herb is Hydrangea. Root rhizome is used for medicine, a herb that is well known for gravel, profuse deposits of white amorphous salts in urine, acts on ureter, calculus, renal colic and bloody urine. Next on the list is Velvet Leaf. The botanical name of this herb is Pereira Brava. The root of this herb is used. This herb is very useful for renal colic, prostatic affections, and catarrh of bladder with kidney pain. Next on the list is wild basil. The botanical name of this herb is Osimum canum. Leaves of this plant are used. It has a very good effect on kidneys, bladder and urethra. Uric acid diathesis. The marked symptom for its use is renal pain with vomiting and nausea. Uric acid stones and red sand in urine. Next on the list is bear berry. The botanical name of this herb is uva or sea. Leaves of this plant are used. Urinary symptoms of this herb are very important. Cystitis with bloody urine, chronic vesicle irritation with pain, and burning after discharge of slimy urine. Calculus and inflammation with nausea and vomiting. Last on the list is corn silk. The botanical name of this herb is Z. italica. These are the hair of corn, it has curative properties of kidney stones, deposits in the kidneys, renal colic, skin affections and psoriasis. 
All these herbs can be used as pure herb, herbal powder, herbal tea, decoction, herbal extract, tinctures and in homeopathic mother tinctures. All these forms are really effective, and I hope you all, appreciate and recognize our hard work. Stay happy and enjoy good health. It is our mission to provide you with a good knowledge of herbs related to different organs. Please keep in touch with our channel, Healthify.